My name is Anne Nickerton. I'm the composer on The Moonwalkers. The call came in maybe six to eight weeks ago, so not long. And I said, well, this sounds incredible. I love space. I'm a real space fan, space geek. I've always loved it since I was a kid. The Moonwalkers is a brand new immersive installation here at Lightroom. What we're aiming to do is to tell the story of the Apollo program, the incredible ingenuity and mystery of those 12 humans who walked on the moon back in the late 60s and early 1970s, but also to look forward and tell the story of the Artemis program and other future moon programs. It's really exciting to be creating this for this immersive experience at Lightroom. I actually went there myself a few months ago to the Hockney exhibition and I found it absolutely inspiring and it's an incredible space. It's fantastic recording at Abbey Road. You do you feel like you're in the Rolls Royce of studios? It's always great fun to record at Abbey Road because it's such an iconic studio. When you're recording a huge amount of music in a short amount of time, you need everybody to be at the top of their game and on the ball. Yeah, as soon as I walked through the doors, I knew I was in good hands. The engineer that I love to use Fiona Cruikshank. She makes it a lot of fun and I have complete confidence in her. She's just fantastic. The other lovely thing is, is that Anne, Fee and I have worked together on lots of projects over the last 10, 15 years. We know each other, we know each other well and we therefore don't step on each other's toes because Fee slaps my hand if I do. <laughs> It's always really great to be recording brand new music and today we're sort of, it's all hot off the press and we're getting through it and yeah, it's really great to see how it's all weaving together. Oh, it's, it's, it's just an incredible project really. We very rarely get to know what's coming up, you know, week by week, so to suddenly be thrown into you know, this project with, with Tom Hanks and everything, it's, it's just incredibly exciting. Working with Tom Hanks is a almost surreal experience. Different generations know him from different movies, but he's also a brilliant, brilliant creative collaborator. He gives space to different voices, he wants to listen to what you've got to say, he's got great ideas, and his dedication to this project and his passion and knowledge is really, really helpful to us. It means that the project both has integrity and factual accuracy, and also has that bit of Hollywood storytelling that he can bring to it. It's the perfect collaboration, really. Working with Tom Hanks has been an absolute dream. He is everything you'd hope he is. He's just been absolutely lovely. He came to the recording sessions, which was a real treat for me, but I think it was a real treat for him. I've been told to address the assembly. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. It's a great honor to be in the room with you all. And I would recommend maybe if the oboe could kick a little ass in this. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. <laughs> What's the saying? They say never, never meet your heroes, don't you? But as cliche, I'm going to say this is an exception. <laughs> he came in yesterday as we were doing the orchestral scoring sessions, chatted to the orchestra, you know, came down, had, had a chat with us all, chatted to the choir this afternoon. Um, you know, he's just been an utter delight. Um, so, yeah, I mean, meet your heroes. Anne's music has an incredible richness and depth to it. And when we came to record it, we knew we wanted to add in an orchestra and who better than the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. It was fantastic working with the RPO. I mean, they're a brilliant orchestra. The musicians were incredible. It was just an honor to work with them. At the RPO, we do really thrive on interesting collaborations and new partnerships. So I, I hope this is something that we can develop in the future because it's it really excited me being in the space itself. So yeah, hopefully there'll be more to come. I really love to work with the London Bulgarian Choir and I found that this particular project was gonna really suit their tone and their sound perfectly. There's just something carnal, animalistic, and also spiritual and deeply moving. At the same time, I also wanted a very 
pure spiritual quality to the music. So I have another singer called Grace Davidson who is going to provide the beautiful, angelic, pure sound to contrast with the sound of the Bulgarian choir. I'm hoping when people come into the gallery space, they'll be moved to tears. The first moon landings, the idea of human achievement, a sense of hope. And I'm hoping that the music will help to emphasize all of that and that they'll be completely submerged in the visual aspect of it and that the music will enhance their experience.